here we go again with another British title fight uh, in Bristol. You must be well pleased that you've managed to pull off a second one in, in 2013. Yes, definitely. And, uh, you know, we've got boxing back on the map again. You know, we're just rolling along. You know, Haskin, Haskins has to have a big win and, uh, you know, to keep the show going. So you're making a bit of progress, really, re-establishing the sport in this city. Yes, definitely. And, uh, you know, we've got other boys coming through as well. But, uh, you know, if Lee Haskins can, you know, be successful, looking good, then we're just hoping for bigger things. Haskins is sort of the Pied Piper for the younger ones. Is he bringing them along? Yes, yeah, he's the leader of the pack. <laughs> you, did have a you did have a disappointment because Dean Francis was meant to be on. This was meant to be a double header and had to pull out through injury. You must have been, just like him, absolutely gutted by that. Yes, I'm gutted because, you know, I, I, you know, I had ambitions and aspirations of uh, having three three British champions um, on uh, 9th of November. But, um, you know, that, that's it. And, w and what's the prognosis for, for um, Dean? Is he likely to get back in the ring fairly soon? Yes. You know, it, it was a, a thing called cellulitis. Um, he, he apparently cut himself here at the gym on his hand and it got infected and got into his bloodstream. You know, it's a real freak, you know, any other time. You know, I think, and I'm sure in a couple of weeks' time, you know, he'd be okay. But, uh, you know, but he had to have two weeks off training and, uh, you know, that scuppered the plans. Well, let's talk about the, the fight that is on, and it's two great champions, isn't it? Lee, Lee Haskins has really proved himself, and against Jason Booth, who has had a, a, a glittering career, even if maybe he's slightly on the way. Now. Yes, he's had, he's had a brilliant career, J J Jason Booth. You know, he was a former uh, world champion. Um, uh, British Commonwealth champion, and he also beat one of my kids, Jamie Arthur, oh, right. uh, and uh, he took away his Commonwealth title. So you know, it's a little bit of you know, we want to get him back. It's payback yeah, time. Yeah, I is always it? tick the boxes, the ones that have um, yeah had me over. So yes, so uh, yeah, I'm <clears throat> leaving all the Lee Askins to seek revenge for me. Yeah, and, and without wanting to be overconfident, Lee must be the favourite for this, mustn't he? Looking at <coughs> their their comparative recent records. Yes, um, you know, um, I believe Lee Haskins is still on the rise. You know, um, J J Jason Booth. Yeah, he, he's had better days, but uh, you know, anything can happen in boxing. You know, and uh, you know, I, I've spoken with his manager, and he, he's apparently he's had a great, great training camp. He knows that you know it's his last chance, and uh, yeah, well, I'm expecting a great fight because he's a good technician, Jason Booth good technician and uh, we're, in, we're in for a, an entertaining fight. And, and there is, is really nowhere else for him to go after this. If he loses, then he, he's <coughs> washed up, maybe a bit harsh, yeah, but, but yeah. Uh, it's the end of the road, really, isn't it? It could think? be the end of the road for him because naturally, once you've been in all these big fights, all those championship fights at Jason Booth, he doesn't really want to go down the ladder, you, you know, and I think... Um, you know, they were great, you know, they were, they were like, sort of took, took this opportunity with both hands. So uh, mentally it's very difficult for somebody to, to sort of suddenly start, start taking lesser fights, isn't it? So yes. it's, it's what he's got upstairs yes. that when, will decide. Once you've been a main event fighter, then it's very difficult to come down the ladder, yes. Yeah. And uh, you'll make a bit of a splash again, the weigh-in's going to be... Uh, oh, it Cabot Circus, yes, yeah. so it's going to be, uh, you know, a big weigh-in. Uh, we're going to have uh, Lee Haskins there. Naturally, we've got Huey Fury, and, uh, you know, I'm sure the Fury family will all be there. Yeah, tell me about Huey Fury, because he's now the, um, the, the uh, main support, isn't he? Yes. And, and, and um, they're, they're an interesting bunch, aren't they, the Furies? Oh, they are, and, 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 and that's what happens, you know? Well, you know, sometimes, you know, you're getting upset with one guy, the other guy fills in it and takes his place, you know? And, uh, you know, and that's exactly what happens. Huey Fury, you know, for, from last July, uh, July 2012, we had him here training uh, when, when Tyson was down here, when he boxed at Clevedon. And now, you know, it, it, full circle, sort of 15 months on, you know, we've got Huey on our cards, you know? Naturally, Tyson will be here. I was going to say, is Tyson going to be yes, here? Yes, he would definitely be here, yes. Well, that's a, that's a draw, if nothing else. That's a draw in itself, yes. One day, one day maybe, uh, we might entice him back here, have a really mega show here with Lee Haskins fighting for a world title, Tyson Fury for a world title. Let's, let's speculate. Chris, anything eh? can happen, anything can happen, yes. Yeah. You know. And, and, and finally, finally, Chris, uh, it's a disappointment, but I'll, I'll mention it, that Bristol Rovers are playing the same night. 
Give us your reasons why people should come to the boxing rather than the football. Well, if we can't beat York City, that, that, then uh, you know, we have a problem. And, uh, and, and, and likewise, you know, the, the, the boxing is only you know, tw twi twice, for maybe three times at the very most a year. This is, a, this is only the second major show in the past four years. You know? You know, and if you want to follow somebody like Haskins, who is the most successful sports person in Bristol for the past five years, you know, some, you know the Bristol people should come out and support a winner. Let's hope they do, Chris. Okay, thank you. Cheers.